Welcome to HeVoices.com, the greater reflection of you. I'm here with artist Doc Tunes. What's going on, Doc? Everything's everything. All right, man, we're here at the Beats, Books, Braids, and Fades Convention in Pikesville. And uh, tell us about this artwork you got behind you, man. I'm working on this piece for a writer named Julian Harris, who's writing a book, Jules Words. And this piece is called Black Power. And um, you see the seed from the 68 Olympics. Also, I have a seed from the March on Washington, the Atlanta boycott, right here in Montgomery. Georgia and um, the Black Panther soup line when they used to give the, um, the food to the to the children to show the Black Panthers in another light. So how long have you been into art, man? Um, it's my first language ever since I was a little boy, as far as I can remember. It's your first language. It's my wow. first language. Was yeah. art? Okay. Go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. Um, since I was, well, my father did it, so I just picked it up and been doing it ever since. Okay, and how long have you been in business with your artwork? You got some fine art over here. Thank you. Um, 28 years, 31. 28 years, 31. And share with the people, man, promote yourself. How long have you been, what else have you done in, in, in addition to your business? Um, well, I've done murals in Baltimore, done three, one on Pennsylvania Avenue between Bloom and Pressman. One on Homestead and Polk Street in East Baltimore. I just finished one on 33rd and Barclay Street in East Baltimore. And um, I've done the storyboard for Layla Steinberg's Mike Sessions in California. Just finished that um, for a play that they're about to do. And um, I was working on a piece right there. It's supposed to be for the Dead Press album cover, but it, the album went another direction. Right there. So, um, awesome. So, and you have a lot of depictions of African Americans, black history, black heritage. Why did you decide to focus on those type of themes in your work? Well, um, I choose to depict images of the, of the indigenous people on the planet Earth, particularly ones in the land, right in this land, um, the said the said country that we call America. You know, um, I like to go back into the into the. I like to show show us in in in. It's subject matter that may challenge our thoughts and ideas as far as brands and labels are concerned. And um, so it's a lot to it. I, I really would like you to see this piece right here. Okay. Because this would expand on it. This right here. Explain this piece. Um, this right here is dealing with the Moorish science and dealing with the um, indigenous people of this land and, and status. It's also dealing with time. It's dealing with, um, I have a calendar here, an astrological calendar. And um, I put it in terms of MC. There's a lot of science in this picture. It, you have the translation of the zodiac signs and how they correspond with, the, with um, musical scales. Um, the Phoenician alphabet right here. The Hebrew, which corresponds with also the, the names of the Hebrew alphabet here. You have the um, playing cards here that correspond with the the, um, the qualities of FIM and water. You got the gloves, diamonds, spades, and hearts. You know, the corporate banner, um, the cherry, George Washington chopped down, that we learned about in school. Um, MC, A to the Z, some hip hop stuff. That's a, lot, that's a lot of the foundation that I came up on. Rest in peace to my friend Apple C who passed away. I got the name Doc Toons in honor of her who passed away. She taught me a whole lot um, about the culture, what was going on in the Bronx. She was dead. And from my understanding, you have an event coming up soon. Talk about that. Um, the, oh, the, the March event? Ebony Anu right here, my queen. We're doing a piece with her. We're doing a play. Um, actually, at we're going to do a lot of different, we're still working on it now. Um, it's going to be the Lincoln Theater at the end of March. So um, it's really hard to, but all these pieces connect, they bring, they, 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 they're coming together for this event. It's a story that's being told through my art and through our art and through our, also all of our art as indigenous people. Like I said, art is my first language. That's what I like to say, but it's really something that's that's deep in, uh, in the culture of who we are as as people as a people
Okay. And tell the people how can they contact you? How can they purchase your artwork and support what you're doing? Um, right now you can contact me just through my email, which is doctoons, D-O-C dot T-O-O-N-Z at yahoo.com. Also Facebook, Dr. Toons, D-O-C-T-A-T-O-O-N-Z. And um, also, um, you can see where I have an old MySpace account. Right now I'm building a website, building a whole lot of things right now. I'm ready to take things on another level. So just stay in, stay in touch with me and I'll let you know of the upcoming events and things going on. Okay, all right, one more time, give them that email address. DocTunes at yahoo.com, D-O-C dot T-O-O-N-Z at yahoo.com. And thank you for watching HeVoices.com, the great reflection of you.